Today marks the one-month ownership of our new Crescent Crew kayaks. Now that I've had some time on the water, I wanted to give a full overview of my experience using the Crescent Crew as a solo fishing and paddling kayak. I want to start with the overview so the things I mentioned in the review make sense if you're new to this kayak. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We're actively trying to grow and subscribing is the best way to avoid missing new fishing and kayak videos. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button to let me know. If you have any feedback or would like to share your own experience with the Crescent Crew, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Okay, so let's get to the overview. Starting at the bow, the crew comes equipped with a very strong and durable handle. It's been very comfortable for holding and useful for lifting the kayak in and out of the truck. Its orientation helps with pulling the kayak out of the water, and in general, the vertical mounting feels very comfortable. Moving down, we've installed the deck padding kit, which is, in my opinion, a must-have upgrade. It totally changed the look and comfort of the kayak and was rather easy to install. If you haven't seen it yet, we actually have a video up for how to install the deck padding. I'll include a link in the description if you wanted to check that out. Moving down, we have the first set of foot pedal rails. These are used when seated in the solo position. They're pretty good in general, but could definitely be more comfortable. I would suggest wearing some kind of footwear when using the pedals. Behind the first foot rails are normally where the second set of foot rails are. They're used when in the tandem seated position. Since this is being used as a solo fishing setup, I've actually removed those rails for comfort, giving myself a little extra leg room. When you remove the rails, there's actually some leftover screw holes that I modified some plastic plugs to fit into, giving it a clean, finished look. While we're in this area, one of the first mods I did after the deck padding was adding accessory rails. This was an absolute game changer for fishing and another highly recommended mod. On the rail to the right, I keep my rod holder. This is a great place to stow your rod to either paddle, unhook a fish, or work with your tackle. The rod holder I'm using is the Yakutak Omega. I think it works great, and I love how the actual holder detaches from the mounting base on the track, so when I'm paddling longer distances, I can stow my rod behind the seat and remove the rod holder itself so it doesn't get in the way. Speaking of paddling, on the opposite side to my left, I have a Railblaza offset paddle holder. This works great to quickly stow the paddle in the clip, but it also keeps it off the track so you still have room for accessories on that track. One additional rail accessory I have in the front half of the kayak is the Yak Attack cleat mount. I don't use this often, but it's really nice having an extra tie-off point. When kayaking with others, we use it to tether the kayaks together for having lunch or just chatting nearby. Continuing down the kayak, you have molded in cup holders. Happy to report they do work and I've not had any issues with my water bottles falling out. Next in this area is the Crescent Framed Kayak Seat. If you're a medium to smaller rider, these seats are very comfortable right out of the box. If you're on the larger size, like myself, over six foot or so, there's a few things you can do to increase their comfort. I've done a few small mods to the seat, such as adjusting the direction the bolts face and adding a foam pad to give you some extra comfort. I have a video going over these mods, link down in the description if you wanted to check them out. The seat straps to the kayak using the mounted seat straps on each side of the seat. These work best when you thread the mounting straps behind the straps that connect the back of the seat to the bottom of the seat and help the mounting straps from slipping off, giving you a really firm, stable seat. Crescent also offers a raised seat mount. I actually have one on order and I'll be doing a review once it comes in and I've had some time to test it. The nice thing about the crew in the solo setup and honestly in the tandem as well is that there is a ton of storage space. Directly behind the chair is where I keep a cooler and my fishing crate. They both fit there very nicely, giving me access to it all day without needing to stand up or turn around. Another track accessory I use are track-mounted circle tie-downs. I use these to bungee the crate down and keep it in place. I can tell you from experience, this works great if you ever flip it like I did a few weeks ago. Speaking of the crate, I've also attached a three-mount rod holder to one side and a single-mount rod holder to the other. On the three-mount side is where I keep my rods, and on the single side is where I keep my fold-up landing net. Moving along past the crate, as I mentioned before about the storage, you have an entire additional storage area already equipped with tie-downs. Usually I'll keep a larger dry bag here filled with towels, but it's large enough to accommodate another cooler or any other day trip luggage. At the back of the kayak, we have two more handles that are the same as the front and sides, but oriented for rear pickup. I'll usually load this end first into my truck and the double handles really help for lifting the stern to the height of the truck bed. Finally, on the left side of the transom, there's a drain plug for the kayak. The hull is sealed, but it can build up pressure when in the sun and heat, so it's important to keep this open when not on the water. 
One last item I want to mention in this overview is that the crew comes equipped with four center located scupper holes. These are great for draining any water that might get in the boat when you're getting in and out or when you have passengers that are swimming. I generally keep these plugged as you can see, but the kayak performed great either way. I expected the plugs to be a necessity for my size and gear, but honestly, I was running without them no problem. The Crescent Crew Kayak is a great option for solo or tandem riders in a fishing or recreational setup. I particularly enjoy how nice it paddles and have some exciting fishing mods in progress. If you want to follow along with this build, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an update. I hope this overview was helpful. If so, let me know by hitting that like button. If you've already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. If not, please consider doing so as we have many more kayak and fishing videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.